Hi, my name is Boris and in this video I'm going to show you the top 20 absolutely free VST effects which you can use in any music production software. These include reverbs, saturators, compressors and much more. Before we get into the video, if you like what we are doing on this channel, make sure to subscribe. We've got more content about free plugins coming up. If you'd like to learn Live 12 with all the foundations of music production, check out our beginner to advanced Live 12 start to finish course. Make sure to also check out the everything bundle collector's edition which includes all of the courses sound packs and project files in our store and to see all of that as well as the blog article with links to all of today's plugins check the video description all right let's get started so the first plugin for today is going to be the distractor and this is an absolutely free distortion plugin here's a bass sound And let's apply this tractor on top. As you can see, it's, it's very visual. It responds nicely to this XY pad. And you can just select the odd and even harmonics right here. And you also have a mix control and auto gain, which is really useful. And there's also this cutoff control right here. All right, so that would be Distractor. Very simple, but nice plugin. Next up, we have OCS 45. And this one is a cassette simulation. And I'm going to use it on this clip. And let's enable OCS. So as you can hear, we have the wow and flutter. So this just adds pitch fluctuations. We can add noise on top. And different kinds of noise are available and we also have different types of cassettes especially audible here uh, you can change the quality of the cassette so with lower quality we get less low end and then we also get less high end the lower we go we've got some distortion also Lots of nice options and also some factory presets available. So this free plugin is absolutely worth checking out. Next up, we have Refire, another plugin which can add saturation. And I'm going to be using it on some drums. All right, then let's use Refire on top. All right, so we've got compression. We have a module which adds sub frequencies to the kick, for example. Then we also have distortion with the heat module. And we also have an air control for the high end in the tone section and noise. It's pretty simple, but it's a combination of some really nice modules. And it's a nice alternative to the drum bus effect built into Ableton. All right, next up, we have the punch plugin. So here's a drum clip without it. And let's enable punch. This one is a transient shaper. We can add transients here. We can reduce the tail right here. All right, so let's leave these at the default position. I'm going to remove transients. So this can now work as a sort of background texture for our drums, or we can add transients some to make them punchy. Now let's control the tails. So this turns down the tails of each drum sound, and then we can increase that. To really make it sound squashed. All right, so that's the punch plugin. We've got some more features, but I'm not gonna get into that really nice transient shaper here. 
next plugin, and we're moving on to EQ style effects. Uh, we have a plugin called the Masker. Looks like this, and it's great at giving your instrument more space um, if you have another instrument clashing with it. For instance, if you're layering your bass sounds, some frequencies are clashing, you can use the Masker. Here we have a layer of electric bass guitar. And we also have a layer of analog, just a saw wave playing. All right, so if we stack these two on top, it's not the best sound, but then on top of analog, we can add the masker, select the six electric bass track as our sidechain input. And now it's going to take uh, the signal from the electric bass and mask these frequencies so that it gives us more clarity. So as you can see in this area, it's removing this low end from this electric bass. So if we now play both together, it's a clearer sound. So that's the masker and you can use it in many different ways. Let's get into the next effect. This one is TDR Nova and this one is a great EQ plugin, but also a nice feature is that these bands can be dynamic. Here we have just a bell curve removing the very low end between 50 and 100 Hertz, but it's not on right now. It's just going to happen whenever we exceed a certain threshold here. So minus 13 uh, dB. So let's play this clip without it. And then we can add TDR Nova. So as you can probably hear, the bass sound isn't as aggressive. We still have some bass, but in the loudest moments it goes out and that's all thanks to this threshold control and our dynamic bands. So TDR Nova is an absolutely great plugin. You can add up to four bands and make all of these dynamic. It's a nice alternative to plugins like the FabFilter Pro-Q. So next up we have Fresh Air and this one is a high frequency processor, basically uh, increasing the very high frequencies, but it's got a nice algorithm which uh, also does a bit of soul saturation. All right, so without this plugin, I am holding on to my personal memory. And then let's enable it. I am holding on to my personal memory. Of course, this is uh, a bit too much, but you can always control it nicely. In my opinion, this can make a somewhat boring vocal really stand out. All right, so next up we have a plugin called Graylon, and this one is an absolutely free autotune plugin or pitch correction plugin, whatever name you prefer. All right, so I just have a very static vocal sound here. And I'm adding vibrato here with this chorus ensemble. Of course, it sounds very comical, but now I can just show you how it corrects the pitch. All right, and you can obviously get T-Pain vocals out of this, and it's a nice alternative to AutoShift, the new Ableton device. All right, so next up we have a de -esser. So if we're talking about vocals, uh, we have a high frequency processor, we have an autotune, now it's time for a de -esser. This plugin, TDSR2, is quite awesome. Here's a vocal phrase without it. Cause I lost my heart right from the start and now. I hope you can hear the sharp S sounds, and now let's add the essing. Cause I lost my heart right from the start and now. I hope you could hear that the S's are way less present. I really like the simplicity of this plugin, really recommend it. Plugin number 10, we have the LA2 Fox plugin, which is a compressor. I'm going to use it on this clip. Let's enable it. All right, it's got a really nice classic sound. It can add a lot of punch and it's a nice free emulation of the classic LA2A compressor. Next up, we have another compressor. And this one is the T-Rex classic compressor. Let's just play the clip without it first. Same clip and then let's apply it.
gives us a bit of a different feel. We've got some more controls over here, as well as some great presets. And this one is an awesome plugin from IK Multimedia. All right, next up we have Nasty DLA. And this one is a great delay plugin, but it can also add chorus to that signal and some modulation. So it's really nice. I'm just going to play this clip dry now. And we're going to be adding a nice vibe with this nasty DLA plugin. As you can see, we've got chorus. The more of that we apply, the, the more detuned is going to get. And then I've got the ping pong delay setting and we've got a separate dry and wet control. Uh, it's a really nice plugin overall. Let's take a look at the next one. We've got another plugin with a chorus feature. This one is fully dedicated to chorus. It's an emulation of the chorus module from the Roland Juno synths. Here's a clip we're going to be processing. It's completely mono. And I'm just going to add tal chorus. If you're on headphones, you're definitely gonna hear how it expands the stereo image. Also, it gives that nice swirling chorus feel and it's perfect on synths, but also many other types of tracks. All right, so next plugin, we also have a chorus and this one is way more advanced. It's the Akon Digital Multiply and let's just play the same clip. An enabling multiply. It sounds very full, very clean, and it doesn't give a lot of phasing, which is great. And we've got up to six voices here, so it can get really big. You can just go crazy here. We've got also some nice presets here, so it can go from very subtle to very crazy. That's Acom Digital Multiply, and the next plugin is going to be the Magic 7 plugin. This plugin gives you some reverbs similar to the AMS RMX 16 from the 80s which includes, for example, this classic non-linear reverb. I'm just going to play this clip dry now. And let's enable non-linear and you'll definitely recognize this type of reverb. We've got different types right here, even different types of the non-linear setting. I really like this plugin and it also gives you some smoothing and ducking options as well as some presets. So make sure to check this one out if you're making synthwave or you're just in need of some 80s reverb. The next one is called Spacer and it's got different kinds of reverbs, also some delay, grain delay. We're going to be using this grain reverb for some creative processing of this synth clip. So let's enable spacer. can just turn your dry sounds into a wall of reverb and delay. And also we've got 150 presets here. So there's definitely some useful stuff in here. Next up, we have the super massive plugin. And this one is another reverb style plugin. And we've got both delay and reverb right here. We're playing the synth clip. And let's enable it. We've got different curious modes here, as well as different presets for each. And with every year, as you can see, they've added more and more presets. So now it's really nice. It's really easy to control the amounts here. I'm not gonna go in depth here, but we've got lots of possibilities in Supermassive. Next up, we have PSP Chamber, which is also a very nice reverb plugin. You can choose between small, medium and large chamber and some different algorithms. And I'm just using this one to add a bit of space to this dry drums clip. It's very simple, but we can also go crazy with decay. It's a nice, really realistic sounding reverb. 
All right, so next up, we also have another curious reverb, and it's called Subtle Spaces. And this one gives you different kinds of rooms. And the preset I'm going to be using here is called Subtle Indie Bedroom. Here's the clip. And let's enable it. And different kinds of rooms and settings give you a completely different sound. So it's perfect if you have a dry clip, you don't really want a long lush reverb, if you just want to put it in some sort of space. This plugin is perfect for that. You've got different kinds of presets dedicated for different types of instruments. And the last plugin for today is also going to be a reverb, and this one is called Exoverb Micro, and it's also a quite a curious plugin. We've got some ambiences, rooms, halls, and plates, so different kinds of reverbs available. And we've got this triangular control, and the up and down axis just corresponds to the dry and wet. And to the left, we have more early reflections, and to the right, we have more late reflections. So let's just play this clip dry. And let's enable Exoverb. I really like it for the ease of use. You just select a certain algorithm and you can just move around in this triangle and find a sweet spot. All right, I hope you'll find this video useful. Make sure to check out our Music Production Academy with start to finish courses on making tracks in various genres. And if you'd like to learn Live 12 with all the foundations of music production, check out the Beginner to Advanced Live 12 start to finish course. Make sure to also check out the Everything Bundle Collector's Edition, which includes all of the courses, sound packs and project files in our store. To see all of that, as well as the blog article with all links to today's plugins, check the video description. Make sure to subscribe to our channel. If you enjoyed this video, leave it a like, write us a comment if you have any other free plugins that you recommend, and I will see you in the next videos.